Let's talk about the derivatives of polynomial functions. Now we're going to need two properties of derivatives before we can differentiate any polynomial function. And these are the, the properties. First, the constant multiple rule. Here's how it works. Now let's say that you, you have a function f of x and you know how to differentiate it. If you have a constant in front of it, like say it's 5, the 5 times f, f of x, the derivative of that is going to be 5 times the derivative of f of x. Effectively, you can move that constant outside of the derivative and, uh, and just take the derivative of the inside function f of x. The sum rule, the derivative of the sum of two functions, f and g, is equal to the sum of the two derivatives. So you can separate the sum. Right? This is almost like distributing the derivative over a sum. But don't think of it that way. It's just the derivative of a sum is the sum of derivatives. Now, those two rules, we can differentiate any polynomial function. And here are some examples. <clears throat> Starting with a really simple one. This is actually just a power function. The derivative with respect to x of 2x to the fifth. So first, we can use the constant multiple rule to pull this constant 2 outside. So it's 2 times the derivative of x to the fifth. And we know how to differentiate power functions. The derivative with respect to x of x to the fifth is 5x to the fourth. So this is 2 times 5x to the fourth. And our answer is 10x to the fourth. Another example, the derivative with respect to x of x cubed plus 8x. Well, here I use the second property, sum, the sum rule. The, this is going to equal the derivative of x cubed plus the derivative of 8x. Now, the x cubed, that's just a power function. And its derivative is going to be 3x squared. 8x is a linear function. We differentiated these earlier. We know that the derivative of a linear function is just its slope, in this case, 8. And that's our answer, 3x squared plus 8. Finally, let's take a look at this guy. The derivative with respect to x of x to the fourth minus 3x squared. So again, we're going to use the sum rule and the constant multiple rule. This is the same as x to the fourth plus negative 3 times x squared. So this is the derivative with respect to x of x to the fourth plus the derivative with respect to x of negative 3 times x squared. Often when I'm first teaching these rules, I like to use one at a time. So what I've used here is the sum rule. And now, I'll use the constant multiple rule to pull this negative 3 outside. So, just copy that down. <clears throat> and I have plus negative 3 times the derivative of x squared. And now I'm ready to finish it up. So this is just the derivative of the power function, x to the fourth, 4x cubed. And I have negative 3 times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. So that's negative 3 times 2x. And this ends up being 4x cubed minus 6x. That's it. You just need two properties, the constant multiple rule and the sum rule to differentiate any polynomial.